Hello and welcome back to my channel, Thrifty Day. Today's episode is a collaboration with Your Creative Studio. I actually did a full unboxing for this amazing selection of ephemera and paper products over on my TikTok, which I have linked below. So thank you so much, Your Creative Studio, for sending me all of this amazing stationery. I love these subscription boxes. I use them every month. And the beauty of these subscription boxes is that these supplies last far more than a month. I use supplies from my very first box several months ago. So I highly recommend these subscription boxes if you are looking to build your ephemera collection. So what you see me doing here is picking out some of the pieces I know I would like to use in this layout. This particular month, the theme was Capture, which had a vintage photography and vintage ephemera feel, which is perfect because I wanted to capture the memory of my daughter's homecoming dance. And she is also a photographer, so it meant so much to me to receive this box. So these are just some of the pictures. Actually, many of them I took with her camera, of course, and her direction, and she edited them. <laughs> but um, there's also some ephemera receipts and things like that that she saved for me. We had to get her dress altered, and she saved all of those, and I found them on my workspace the next day. And she also um, made this little collage in like an art club she does at school. So I thought um, hopefully there's a way I could sort of incorporate it into the page. This is my last page in this lay um in this journal. I'm so excited. Um, I will have a full flip through of this journal, and um, so I'm excited to do the last layout. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using that collage she made in Art Club, and I'm going to lay it over one side of the layout, and then I'm going to use that little piece left over as a pocket. I'm using PVA glue because it is strong and it is flexible. So that is what I use because this was a thick piece of paper. She had done a collage onto a piece of cardstock um, with things that sort of caught her eye from a magazine. So I use PVA glue and I also did use a couple of staples to make sure that it was um, nice and secure. I also use staples to make the pocket on the other side and I realized I stapled two pages together. So here I am unstapling and restapling. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. So at this point I don't know what photos I'm using yet so I just sort of tuck them all there to see if they fit and they do. I knew I wanted to use these big stickers that came in the subscription boxes with the vintage photographer and his camera and the vintage camera so I take the backings off. Um, these are gorgeous, high quality, large stickers, um, and they were perfect for this layout. So I had a general plan going into this layout of what I wanted. Um, that was pretty much the base, which I've already done. So now I'm sort of flying by the seat of my pants and I just sort of start stapling things down. Those will move. I don't end up keeping them there. Um, and now I'm just deciding what photos to use. So now this is just a whole lot of footage of me trying to figure out what direction I'd like to go with the layout. I had these beautiful stickers that I wanted to use because they were vintage dresses and I thought that really tied in with the theme. This was sort of a vintage um, alterations tag so I wanted to use that and um, so I'm just trying to figure it all out and I don't really have a lot of direction but it finally does come to me and I decided to use these stickers on the side. These came in the subscription box and there were some pictures of vintage advertising for shoes, vintage advertising for dresses and fashion. So I chose three of my favorites and I just stick them right to the side. And again, these are beautiful, high quality vintage style stickers from your creative studio. So what I decided to do is cut around the silhouette of my daughter in this photo. I love this picture. She looks so happy and so beautiful. So I just cut all the way around her 
and um, decide to stick it right down to the page. So now I am going to stick those stickers down. They sort of feel like linen stickers, so they're a really neat um, sort of finish. And I think that that added some cool texture to the layout. So I am just gonna add some of this Distress ink around the edges just to help them pop off the page a little bit. And then I'm going to layer them onto each other as sort of a collage. The stickers overlapped a little, so I thought I might trim them, but then I just decided to stick them um, around onto the other side of the page. And now I want to add this vintage envelope because I want to put the receipt ephemeras that Abby left on my workspace from her dress alterations, from purchasing her homecoming tickets. She left all of those for me, and I just thought the gesture was so sweet. So it was something I really felt um, I wanted to add to the page and I thought an envelope would be a great way to do it. I love this little um, sort of Robin Eggs blue, um, very vintage prepaid postage envelope. I think it's from the 40s. And so what I decide to do is um, trim down this photo to help it fit. And then I don't even end up putting the envelope there <laughs> because I realize that it would cover a lot on the other side, the layout that's on the other side. So what I end up doing, and you'll see me do in a moment, is I put it behind the photos and I remove where I had originally put those tags. I ultimately will move those tags up to the top of the page and then I'm going to add the envelope um, to the lower half of the page. That way it can open and close behind those photos. So now I'm just going to add those receipts and I'm going to um, just stick them in with a paper clip and you can see how that envelope just fits perfectly there. I put the photos back on and now I will add the tags back to the top of the page. I knew I wanted to put these vintage camera stickers from the subscription box all around the layout, which is what you see me doing now. And now I'm adding a lot of finishing touches. I loved a lot of the tags that came with the subscription box. This time I'm going to use this vintage camera stamp and I'm going to put a portion of it into the corner of this little round tag. Um, I just think it adds a really sweet touch and um, I can do my journaling on there. I ultimately end up doing my journaling off camera and I put it onto the tags that I'm adding to the pages and into the envelope that I just glued into the side. So now what I'm deciding to do is I'm going to use this tag and the way I'm going to use it is I'm actually going to stick it onto the group photo and then I'm going to cut around it so that it's a tag with a photo on the back because the tag was actually a sticker. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to trim around it. I'll round those corners a little bit and then I'm just going to stick it into the pocket just to add a little bit of a vintage style touch on top of those photos that are sort of kind of abrasively sitting in the pocket in my opinion.
I love this picture of Abby, so I trim it down and I use some double stick tape and I put it into that vintage envelope. I'm also going to use some gold photo corners to make it pop off of that envelope and um, just look a little more fancy, I guess. I don't know, I love these gold corners. I feel like I use them for a lot of things because um, I just love the look and that they add a whole nother layer of um, texture to the page. So now I'm going to add this tag right to the top. I'm gonna to use the beautiful washi tape that also came in the subscription box. It has vintage cameras and vintage typewriters on it. And then I'm going to use this little um, Dymo vintage sort of label printing machine to type out the word homecoming and the year 2022. My little machine is having some issues, so I'm kind of struggling with it to get it out of there, but um, it still works, so I'm just going with it. So this says homecoming 2022. And this is my finished layout. I am very happy with how it came out. It was a wonderful night for Abby, and so this was a very fun layout to create. A huge thank you to Your Creative Studio for sending me this beautiful box of ephemera that I will be using for months to come. If you are interested in purchasing a subscription box to Your Creative Studio, please look in the description box below because I have their shop linked there, and everything you need to know um, will be found by tapping on that link. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And if you are looking for additional journaling content, please follow me on Patreon. My Patreon is linked below. We'd love to have you there. Every tier receives um, happy mail from me. So it's a really fun spot to connect. And if you love happy mail, then this is definitely the place for you. So I hope you love this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great day, everyone.